In this video, we'll be showcasing seven of the most useful Grasshopper plugins that can improve your workflow and save you time. These plugins are sure to enhance your Grasshopper experience, whether you're a beginner or an experienced user. The first plugin we'll be discussing is Moonlight and Palette. These two plugins have a unique and useful feature, which is the ability to enable a dark mode. Let's see how to use Moonlight and Palette. After installing the plugin, go to the Params tab and drop the Moonlight component. All you need to do now is connect a Boolean toggle. I'll connect the Boolean toggle and set it to true. This will activate the dark mode in Grasshopper. If you ever want to switch back to the light mode, just toggle a Boolean back to false. It's that simple. However, Moonlight doesn't offer enough control for those who want a more customized experience. That's where Palette comes in. This node provides many controls to help you personalize the dark mode. With Palette, you can change the node color, wire color, canvas grid size, and more. There are many inputs, so be sure to carefully read through them to set your desired colors. Once you set the colors to your liking, you can remove the palette node. To revert back to the standard mode, simply bring the palette node back and set the mode to standard. The next plugin we'll be discussing is Snapping Gecko. This plugin will make your life easier by allowing you to align components while moving or resizing. The magnetic guides will assist you in aligning the sides or centers of other components that are close by or aligning the cables linked to the moving component. With Snapping Gecko, you have full control over the customization options. You can change the guide color, line type, thickness, strength, and more. PODGH button. This plugin adds enhanced button tools to the Grasshopper canvas, providing a variety of useful features. Let's take a closer look at some of them. The first button allows you to float the Rhino viewport over Grasshopper, which can be activated by clicking using the right mouse button or left mouse button. This is extremely helpful in freeing up more canvas space. The next feature is the search tool. This feature is packed with advanced filtering options, like the ability to filter out error components, warnings, parameters, or even texts. Let's we want to filter out error components. All you need to do is go to the options menu, select errors, and then type an asterisk into the search bar. All the error components will be filtered out and highlighted in the canvas. This feature is like the native search in Grasshopper, but even better with added control and customization options. The next feature allows you to hide reference geometry from Rhino. You've probably seen this type of shading before. With this button, you can easily hide and unhide reference geometry. To demonstrate, I will reference one piece of geometry and to hide it. All you need to do is select the container and press the bulb icon. If you want to show it again, just use the left mouse button. There are many features to explore, you can test them yourself. The next plugin is Brickbox. Brickbox makes it easier to manage your grasshopper snippets by allowing you to store and add them quickly from a canvas button. Let's say I want to store this graph mapper sev. So what I will do is select all the nodes sev and press the Brickbox button. Then I can use the top name and brick name. There is a checkbox option here. If I want the thumbnail taken from Grasshopper Canvas, I'll leave it as it is. Now to use it back, I simply right click and select it from the options. And after selecting, I can easily drop it into the canvas. The next plugin is Magnifier. The Magnifier plugin helps you save time when working with complex scripts. It allows you to easily see the inputs and outputs of components from a distance by magnifying a specific area. The Magnifier has adjustable parameters such as composition size, font size, zoom level, and search radius, making it a versatile tool for improving your workflow. Persistent Data Editor. This plugin allows you to quickly set persistent data. With a simple left click on the text box, you can change the value and undo it if needed. Right clicking on the control also gives you the option to add a component to set the parameters. One of the interesting features is the toggle bubble icon on the component, making it easy and quick to switch Boolean values without needing any additional components. Additionally, there are drop down options and inputs available for specific components. You can also experiment with other features like picking colors from the swatch, setting vectors, and more.
the Quick Connection plugin is a game changer for easily connecting components. Simply drag the wire out of the component and release it on the black canvas to get component suggestions. You can then select the component you want to connect to the specific input. The component suggestions are based on the input character, so for vector inputs you will get vector-related suggestions. You can even add your preferred components by right-clicking on the drop-down option, which opens a new window. Now it can search for your specific component. After finding it, simply press the Add button and select the specific socket you want to connect to. I hope this overview of useful plugins for Grasshopper was helpful for you. If you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you're interested in learning more about Grasshopper, be sure to check out these two recommended tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.